Hey guys, welcome back to the compound and to another retro repaint video. For this video, I figured we'd do something a little different and instead of throwing down a retro deco on a dinosaur, I would instead put a fun retro deco on a modern Mattel vehicle. So the idea for this video came from the new 93 classic vehicle that was announced a couple of weeks ago and while skimming through the behind the gates video on target site they show a brief image of some of the decos they were considering doing on the vehicle and the one that caught my eye that i really loved was uh, this particular design right here i like the idea of the explorer deco on an all-terrain tracking vehicle and the reversed colors uh, look really wild especially the red patterns looking up from the uh, bottom instead of the top like on the classic tour vehicle everything i'll be using on this custom is available on amazon and i will leave amazon links below that way you guys can just go straight to amazon and get all the materials that you'll need to build along with me if you plan on doing that i'll also leave a link to the airbrush that i use because when doing uh, paint on a vehicle um, you know it's the airbrush is really your best friend and uh, it's the easiest and the best way to get a smooth finish especially with painting something like yellow so with all that said i'm gonna go ahead and get the truck apart and get it prepped and ready for paint and we're gonna throw down a cool retro deco on this bad boy so let's get started so i've started off by taping off the windshield with painter's tape now that's the only part on this truck that really can't be removed and i laid down a white primer and then following up that white primer with a bright yellow base coat using Vallejo yellow and I'll apply several thin coats until I build up a nice bright smooth finish. With the yellow done now it's time to lay down the green fade and for that I'll be using Army Painters Jungle Green. The key to this layer is to apply it very thin using light even passes and gradually build up the fade from darkest at the bottom to lightest at the top and this will just help blend those two tones together giving it that cool Ford Explorer fade. The next step will be laying down the red patterns. For that I'll be doing these by hand using Vallejo red ink. I'm using ink instead of normal red acrylic paint because the pigment in the ink is really strong but it's also very thin so it'll go on smooth and clean and it won't leave any brush strokes behind. So I'm just dabbing the paint on a little at a time, going up at an angle and creating that sort of stylized splatter effects by dropping little random dots here and there and then wrapping them up over the top of the hood. Just trying to mimic the concept art as close as I possibly can from what I can see in the image. Next color up is black and I'll be painting this toolbox looking thing on the back of the truck with the black. I'll also hit that light rack on top as well. So that is pretty much it for the colors on the body. I'm going to go ahead and seal it up with a couple of coats of Createx gloss top coat just to create a nice protective shell and lock all that paint in. So with all of that done, now we get to take this truck to the next level with some killer 118 scale Explorer decals from Max Custom Designs and Prints. I'll leave a link below to the seller store so you can grab a sheet if you need it. So applying the stickers is pretty straightforward. I'll just pop on that iconic Jurassic Park logo on the center of the hood, and then I'll add the Jurassic Park text on both sides of the back of the truck bed. And you know, these decals, it just takes this thing to the next level and it makes it look so much cooler. So we're pretty much done with all of the overall design of this thing. And what I wanted to do is outfit this rig with a couple of different options in terms of gear. And since this is a gas powered truck, you can't go you know out into the bush without some backup gas so i threw in a couple of red jerry cans into the truck bed just to have some spare ones on hand in case you're running low somewhere out where the raptors are uh, and since i did install the red clip from the capture and crush truck from dominion i'll be able to use two different pieces of equipment with this vehicle one of them is this claw arm which really gives the truck this cool sort of capture vehicle vibe i really like this a lot great for you know doing shots where you're kind of like rounding up dinosaurs and stuff like that really cool counter vibe uh, but in a situation where one might need more firepower if you know they're taking on a bigger more aggressive dino on the loose then i wanted to add a mounted weapon in the classic counter fashion to the back of this rig so i snagged a spare missile launcher and platform from the outpost chaos playset and i modified the uh, paint deco on the 
entire setup to fit in with the theme of this jungle tracker that I made. And because I used that red clip from the uh, capture and crush truck and both that vehicle and the outpost chaos playset use that same bracket system the missile launcher and platform will click right in perfectly and they can swap them out uh, for whatever the situation calls for so then what you can do before you drive out to the park is you can grab a partner and they can ride shotgun in the back and you can unleash some shock and awe on any loose dinos that may be running around the park this configuration is by far my favorite loadout of the two since it really does harken back to the old school Kenner vehicles. So that is pretty much it for this custom. As always, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, especially when we open the doors here at the compound garage and wrench on some vehicles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's helped inspire you in some way, shape or form. If you give this or any custom a shot, remember to tag me over on Instagram at the Jurassic Park Compound because I love to see what you guys can come up with. For more Jurassic related content, you know where to find it. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care and I'll see you around the compound.